so the first Premiership match of 2005 will decide the first silverware of 2005. And it's Chelsea in possession with number 13, Gallus, to John Terry, who hopes to lift that trophy for Chelsea at the end of the afternoon. Didier Drogba, preferred to Ida Goodjonsson. Steven Gerrard, on by Morientes, Luis Garcia playing in that central role, looked for Kuehl through the middle when Risa was free over to his left, and Risa with room to operate in has been calling for it long and hard, and hits a magnificent opening inside 45 seconds, the quickest goal ever in the League Cup final, John Arnorisa hits a rocket! Well, Paulo Ferreira got dragged in so early in this move. Luis Garcia spawns the chance, look at this. Now look at Ferrara's position. Now if Garcia releases Risa, he's in. Look at the disappointment, but suddenly he's still there. Still no reaction from Ferrara, still nothing. And my goodness, they didn't want it dropping on this boy's left foot. He is a threat, he is stunning. Take that, what a start for Liverpool. Textbook volley, early in the game. He's entitled to be a little nervous, but was he? You bet your life he wasn't. And Finnan delivers with a free kick. And was Gerard hauled down by Makaleli? No. I have to say, that's as clumsy a challenge as you're going to see. And I'll bet you anything, if this is outside the area, he gets a free kick. Makaleli's all over them. No control of where the ball's going. No control of his challenge. And I think he's a real lucky boy to get away with that. Well, he certainly imposed himself on Steven Gerrard then, did Claude Makélélé. But he got away with it. And Li Liverpool on the back foot, Drogba! Corner. Now, whether it's a keeper or a carrier, but certainly someone gets a little bit of this ball just as he plays it. And this would be the right kick in the teeth for Liverpool after what's just happened at the other end. Little bit off the goalkeeper. Studek who gets something on it. Just enough. Well, I'm not sure how much he knew about it, Jersey Dudek, but he did get enough on it. And Duff takes the corner. Terry with a header. And off the line. Luis Garcia in the right place to steer Lampard's header away from danger. Well, the first one's not dealt with. You see Terry just. Help on. And he's onside. Didier Drogba. And Finnan came and made the important intervention. Just wouldn't come down for him. Here's Cole. Good Johnson. Good save. Gallus. Good save again. Well, a goalkeeper that's taken so much stick from Liverpool fans. It's just come to the rescue. But this pressure's mounting. This is a lovely ball in from Cole. And it's a super header. Down and away from Dudek. And this is a top draw save. But that's just as good. You get up quickly. And you block the second. A couple of chances in quick succession. And a much maligned goalkeeper. Very much up to it. They wouldn't have wanted this to drop out. Gallus. It's one of those where you have to get up in the air. And if you get it up in the air, you probably score. Now Haman, and this is where Chelsea could be vulnerable. Morientes looks to work it through to Luis Garcia. Haman's made a break, and he's found him. Wonderful save, wonderful stop. A what a hit. And who's the last Liverpool midfield player you'd expect to be breaking? 60 yards, right through the middle and getting on the end of a shot. Didi Haman. It's not in his pre-planning this, but he wasn't sure. What a hit, I have to say. Technique was superb. And a little message passed from Keisman to John Terry, telling them what they've got to do at the back. That'll be three at the back. Terry centrally, the value left there. Could have a problem here, Gerard arriving. I don't believe he's missed that. If he's got there first, I thought that's going to be a corner. I can't believe Steven Gerrard put this wide. 
just when Chelsea have come to terms with what they're going to do. Well, Farah must have got something on that. He did. He must have done. I can't, see, I can't believe it if they put it away. Not the sort of easy pickup that Liverpool want to be giving Chelsea. But Chelsea wounded by the event. Oh, of the let last it week. go, referee. Referee. Uh, That's really poor. Really poor. I know you're booking them, but book them later. Goodness me. Joe Cole was furious. And with good reason. I think that's when referees really just have no idea about the game at all. Look at this for a break. They've got... Now they're in a position of 3v3 with people joining them. Joe Cole's got acres to run into. Let the play go. Then book Didi Haman if you must. Oh, the kick has gone in, it's an own goal! Steven Gerrard, the Liverpool captain, sees it flick in. Remarkably, Chelsea have got their equaliser from a most unlikely source. I don't believe that. You just do not know in this game that we watch what is going to happen. Unsavable. That's what it is. Unsavable. It's just ducked into an area. Three Liverpool players, any of which can go and head this clear. Would you believe it's a skipper of all people? What a story. What a story. Well, maybe Chelsea weren't disadvantaged by the free kick after all then. Well, will Steven Gerrard be scoring goals for Jose Mourinho's Chelsea team next season? Jose Mourinho off. is not going to see the end of this game from the touchline. He's been sent off. Here's Lampard. Play through to Duff. Here's a chance for Chelsea to win it. Dudek comes to the rescue. Duff again. And again, the goalkeeper gets across in front of him to put him off. What a chance. What's a chance for Damien Duff? Lovely ball in here, and you just think, just lift it. But two deck. Oh, not for the first time today. Stays big, stays up for a long, long time, the goalkeeper. And Duff can't just squeeze it past him. They've come from the capital of England to the uh, Welsh capital, hoping to see the first silverware one under Jose Mourinho. Mourinho himself may not see the actual winning of the trophy. He's watching in solitary confinement, but it is extra time. Tracking start to the game for Liverpool. Awful finish to the 90 minutes. Can extra time get any better? In truth, the equaliser from Chelsea had been coming, bearing in mind their possession, but there's no way we could have seen how it would come. Good Johnson's immediately trying to get Keshman involved, and he's picked him out, and Drock was in the middle, but Carragher is there first. Glenn Johnson getting it back across, Keshman with a layoff. In by Makaleli, Drogba goes for it, but Finnan he gets enough on it. Gerard plays it through, and Luis Garcia has broken free here. Bishan was arriving and couldn't direct his head at goalwards. Well, I told you, you're yeah, either tired physically and mentally, and, look, and they just go to sleep. I mean, he looks offside, but he gets away with it, and they don't react. And what, what a chance that is for Igor Bishkan, who gets above Drogba, who gets the header. He really isn't that opposed that much. Johnson's long throw, and it's gone through to Drogba! Drogba, the man who was bought as a club record signing with £24 million worth of Roman Abramovich's money. Hoopier should have dealt with it, or could Dudek come and help him? Sammy Hoopier doesn't deal with it under pressure from John Terry. And Phil marks to Drogba in behind because it has to be dealt with quick. He cushions this on his thigh and then just sweeps it in in one movement. And the goalkeepers get no chance from that close end, absolutely no chance. It's Lampard who whips it in, and Dudek flaps at it, it's Ida Gudjonsson back in, 
and it's stabbed in by Mattia Keshman of all people. The man who has so struggled for goals in his time at Chelsea gets a big one in the big one and Chelsea are closing in on the Carling Cup. But watch good Johnson. Is he interested in the corner? No, he's not. I'll just take it down and thrash it back across. The Lions' flag went up right away. I was watching him. It's very close, Rob. Very close. Does Dudek actually stop it? Stops that one. But does he stop that? No, just over the line. Lions' flag was up immediately. But top marks to Ida Good Johnson there. For deciding to control it, for having the ability to do something with it. And that's number three. Gerrard's kick. Oh, and it's turned in! Nunes, amongst those in the pile, got the touch, and Liverpool give themselves hope. It's a real difficult ball to deal with from Steven Gerrard. Frank Lampard doesn't quite deal with it. But now they're wanting a free kick there. I'm not so sure that Czech does enough here. It's up in the air a long time. Come and deal with it when you're six foot six. It doesn't really do anything. It's not over, it might be now. Chelsea win their first silverware under Jose Mourinho, but the manager is not pitch side to see it and join in the celebratory party. He's a cup winning captain. He's done all the menial jobs. He was a boot cleaner. He was an apprentice. But now he's led the Chelsea team to victory at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. They are the 2005 Carling Cup victors.